talk about. Um, she's quite poor. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ian and this channel is all about music and art and this is just a quick video because um, I've recently bought a, a Mac a mini, Mac Mini M1 silicon based uh, computer and it's it's new and for music production there's I'm, I'm seeing all sorts of issues. The biggest issue that I've had to date really was trying to get this thing to work. Now this is a Nectar Panorama P1 and the P1 uh, is a MIDI controller and there's a, I have to say you know I've had it a few years now but I always felt that when I first installed the P1 that it, uh, it was a sort of convoluted way of uh, setting the whole thing up and I've literally spent the last two days trying to get the P1 to talk to my digital audio workstations. Now I mainly use uh, Reaper and, I, and the other door that I use is Logic Pro X. Now um, so we've got we've got issues really. Now the, the, it's worth just going through and I'm just going to move the camera around a little bit so that you can still see me and I can talk to you and I'll uh, I'll record my screen because um, the first thing to say is that with a next and this isn't just about the P1 there is uh, two or three interfaces they had keyboard interfaces well they've got a P4 and a P6 I think so P1 P4 P6 and I'm sure we'll have the same sort of problems with all of them the way it works is that when you get one of these pieces of equipment you need to register account with Nectar uh, and then you need to tell them what your digital audio workstation is and you download a set of instructions really. So one of the first things you need to do is to upgrade the firmware on the actual interface. You have to go through this progress and it's a two-stage progress. The first stage is to upgrade the firmware, do everything and read the instructions. Now I know that if you're like me I don't normally read instructions very well. Uh, with this process you have to read every instruction. What we end up with is, let's just find where this is, and what happens is we end up with uh, these two sets of files to download. I've got one here for Logic, Logic Integration Mac OS X, one for the Reaper integration uh, and in there we've got a whole host of files that we need to use. Now I'm not going to go through that because obviously a, it's quite tedious and you really in, in there will be a PDF file which you which is the, it means to set up and use a guide for the P1 or P6 or whatever it is. So you really do need to have to follow those instructions to the letter don't miss any steps out. Even then we've still got some issues but I'm going to come back to that. So the first thing I did when I started this process was I looked on Nectar's website and they have this page which I'll put in the links down below and it does say that uh, Nectar software has been tested and is known to be compatible with uh, Mac OS 11 Big Sur. When you run some Nectar installers you may encounter the following warning. Um, I didn't get those warnings. And there is a bit down the bottom which is known issues and I will come back to that because that, that has, an, that has a, an impact on logic. So what I've done several times is I've tried it with Reaper, go through each of the, um, set, each of the instructions, nothing works. And what happens with Reaper is if I just open Reaper here, one of the first thing that should happen is when we go to options and preferences one of the first things that we're asked to do is to look at the control osc web interface um, and we're asked to add control surface settings and then in here 
should be the Panorama P1 or P4 or P6. Now, currently on the M1 Mac Mini running Big Sur, I, there's no way that I can make that happen. It just, it's never there. I have, I have opened up a, um, I've emailed Nectar to see if they can come up with a solution. And what I'll do is I will either post another video or stick the comments in down below if I hear of a solution to this. So, and I, as I said, I have tried always. So currently, I would say that the latest version of Reaper running under Big Sur on an M1 Mac Mini doesn't work. Okay. Now, I am using the latest native version of Reaper. There is uh, a previous version and I haven't tried that and it may be possible to use that. When I tried it with uh, Logic, I had exactly the same results, went through all of the processes. Uh, the processes for Logic are slightly different to Reaper, but fundamentally we upgrade the firmware uh, and then we run the compatibility file and that's supposed to sort the whole thing down. Oh, again, it didn't work. It doesn't, you know, you open up um, Logic and it doesn't recognize anything to do with the, the panorama. And then I saw this known issues. So currently Nectar controllers will operate as generic MIDI devices when running Logic and GarageBand. I don't, I have GarageBand, but don't really use it. But uh, so I've only really tried this in Logic. As native applications on M1 based Apple computers, we are working on updates of software. Now I have the latest version of Logic is a native piece of software because it's made by Apple. Um, in the meantime, you can run Logic and GarageBand in an Intel Mac emulation layer called Rosetta. I think it's actually Rosetta 2. And our support software for those applications will work. Please follow these steps. Right, let's do that. What we need to do is we need to open up Finder, go to Applications, Find Logic, right click on it, click on Get Information, so left click on Get Information, and then you have to tick a box that says open using Rosetta. Plug the nectar in then open up and it will work. Now I thought, oh, okay. So I wonder if that'll work with Reaper. When we go to this version of Reaper and we do get info, we don't have the option to open it in Rosetta. Now the previous version, the the Intel version, you may be able to. Um, so I'm quite prepared at the moment to just sit and wait for Nectar, who I've said that they are working on it, to do that update. So, um, and it seems to be working fine. I've, I've tried recording with it. I've, uh, the, the sliders all work. Um, you know, it does open pieces of, uh, it does open plugins, seems to be fine. There may be some quirks that I haven't come across yet, but um, at the moment, hunk, hunky dory and happy days. Um, and I hope that helps somebody. If, that, if this video saves you two days worth of pain, which I've just gone through, then I, I'm, so, I'm so pleased. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions that I can answer, stick them in the uh, comments down below. I will be doing a, a longer ver a longer video about the, some of the other issues that I've had with the um, Mac Mini M1 integration. I mean, I, I didn't, I did this, I had no choice to do this. My old Mac Mini, which was seven years old, uh, died. So I had no choice but to to upgrade really. Uh, and there has been a few issues like currently I only have one screen working and I'm still trying to work on that one. And uh, I've gone through, I've tried three separate audio interfaces and ended up having to buy a new one. And there's a separate video on me unboxing a Scarlett 2, 2i2, which does work perfectly well with um, the, the, the computer. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope that helps. Cheers now. See you again. Bye bye.